Doesn't everyone love Paris in the springtime? I mean, even if you haven't been there, you've seen a movie or a beautiful portrait or perhaps a magazine article of all the cafes and the flowers along the street. I know that's the vision I had in my mind as I was shopping and packing our family's suitcases for our first few days after a move to Paris. I had clearly in my mind the vision of Maurice Chevalier singing that classic song, I Love Paris in the Springtime. He was twirling his cane and he had on his cute little seersucker suit and his straw hat. Unfortunately, that is the only thing that was clear in my mind at the time. And everyone knows you should never believe everything you see in the movies. The reality is that it's cold in Paris in the spring. I mean, the people that live there are still wearing their sweaters and scarves. And had it not been for the kindness of the women of the American church in Paris, I do believe that my family was in danger of shivering to death on a street corner. Have you ever made a big mistake? I mean, a really big mistake. The kind that people still remember and laugh about today? Of course you have. We all have. You know, I'm the wife of a career naval officer of 31 years and attache, and I've moved 29 times. I've taken all of my earthly possessions, my family and my pets, from the eastern shores of the USA to Hawaii, Europe, South America, and back again. And believe me, <laughs> that's given me plenty of opportunity to make mistakes and to learn from them. And that's the secret, to learn from your mistakes, to be able to take the lesson and let go of the pain, and to begin to develop a mindset of forgiveness for yourself and for others. I tell you, it's that mindset, that mindset of forgiveness that'll take you a long way on the road to success and allow you to face the adversities of life in a way that'll make you better rather than bitter. I've had my share of times when I wasn't quite sure what to do or how to do it. And I'm so thankful that I had spiritual truths to cling to that got me through those times, along with that wonderful connection that I've had with the body of Christ. And that's my heart, to share with you the life lessons and spiritual truths that I have learned that have helped me and thousands of others, the secrets and the way to be able to uproot, transplant, and then bloom wherever God plants you. <laughs>